Rundle Wilchester gave the home team the perfect start with a ninth minute strike for one to nothing to Stars. But police would storm back with a series of raids resulting with a deserved equaliser in the 19th. Elijah Belgrave's powerful header doing the trick. The lawmen would then lay siege on the Star Citadel and should have taken the lead on several occasions but squandered a host of good chances. Things were then compounded after this late whistle waved off what police thought was the go-ahead goal. Then some nifty footwork from uh, Kishun Sicharan wrong foots the defender Jibri David and forces a penalty. Up steps the music man himself Elton John to send the keeper the wrong way for 2-1 now stars in the 38th. But the lawman would respond when Kareem Freitas rears down on goal and his chip just clips the fingers of keeper Akeem Clark and it sits up inviting me for cherry picking Jamil Perry to level things on the stroke of half time 2 2 at the break. But three minutes into the second half, Stars would strike again to lead for the third time in the match. Former Sawa Jablati and W Connections hitman Akeem Garcia was Johnny on the spot to cap off a textbook counter-attack as the police defence was nowhere to be found hanging front set out to dry yet again. Garcia could have killed off police with two superb chances, the second of which saw Fonset bringing off a fine save when a goal looked certain. The lawmen are anything but resilient and they could have knotted up the scores late again only to watch in agony as this brilliant effort crashes off Clark's crossbar and it stays out. This allowed Stars to earn all three points with a 3-2 victory and first place on the table with 16 points counting five wins and a draw so far. And while second place W Connection slipped up against the army, defending champs Central FC had their hands full against Club Sando, who are surging up the table almost unnoticed. But it would be the Sharks to score first after this initial effort hits the post, but the rebound is dealt with in the appropriate fashion for one to nothing in the 66th. Kadian Gabriel with the finish. But quite fittingly, Club Sando would salvage a point when Akeem Armstrong finds himself with time and space for a second touch, which he uses wisely to blast off for the equaliser on the stroke of full time. It would end 1-1 with Club Sando up to 11 points now and in third spot, one point ahead of Samwa Jablati. Buskin Mark, C Sports.